hi there. Come on in. I think I think they probably want the story of I, how I found I this, think so. right? I think you can. can I open this up or is this going to be like a You can I can pull it down. I'll pull it down. I mean, I love old ephemera and so I mean, I didn't even know I didn't even know what a beta tape was when I first started making this. I was born and raised in Los Angeles and I wanted to make a documentary about the city. And I was exploring what I could make a documentary about that would let me touch on the vastness and complexity that is this city. I kept coming back to helicopters. It seemed that every major event in Los Angeles, particularly in the 80s and 90s, was covered by a helicopter. Um, and so then the question became who is the most helicopter reporter of all helicopters, and that is Zoe Turr. Just talking to her for the very first time, it was like I was talking to Los Angeles. It was the it was it was one person that encapsulated an entire era. So Zoe's life quickly became as interesting to me as Los Angeles. I learned that it wasn't just Zoe who was covering these stories, it was her and her ex-wife, Marika. They were a helicopter reporting duo. So Zoe eventually took me to her storage unit and what I found was a piece of LA treasure. Zoe and Marika had kept all of the tapes that they had shot throughout their entire career. And there's somewhere like 3,000 tapes. Uh, we digitized all of them, piecing together Zoe and Marika's story. We were able to bring to life a lot of their memories, a lot of their reflections, and it allowed for a very intimate and um, at times difficult exploration of their past as they try to make sense of who they are and who they were. Whirly Bird is both a story about Los Angeles and it's a story of a relationship. It's a story of two people who found each other and went on an amazing adventure. I'm Matt Yoka. I'm the director of Whirly Bird, which is premiering in the U.S. Documentary Competition at the 2020 Sundance Film Festival.